Uh, well, when we say symptoms, are I guess uh, are we talking about things like pain, inflammation? Um, that that could mean a lot of different things, right? So the the human body has, of course, a number of different feedback loops that show up as symptoms, but they're part of the healing process. They're part of the healing process, or they're part of the process that the body uses to manage disease and uh, and reestablish balance and homeostasis in the body. So the important thing that we would want to look at is the foundation, which would be on our immune system. Um, so yeah, so that all said, um, what's really important about X39 and copper peptide is uh, we often talk about that we want people to make sure they're getting enough copper in their diet. And uh, you can get that from liver, or you can get that from chocolate. So it depends on, you know, the person. Uh, you can also get it from a, a, a diet that's rich in chlorophyll. So people that have uh, a plant-based diet, they can get enough copper in their diet as well. So, and the, the important part about that is that copper plays an incredibly important role in the immune system. Uh, I'll give you an idea how important it is. There was an interesting study that was done on copper peptide, GHK, and infection. And what was found was that when someone got an injury, there would be over a 30%, it was about a 36, 38% uh, chance of getting an infection at that injury site when there was copper in the body and you elevated copper peptide that only went down to between three and six percent so it gives you an idea how potent copper is we talked about this during the pandemic um, it was i think sheffield university over in england found that the uh uh, COVID virus, uh, SARS-CoV-2, was deactivated by copper. And so what they started to look at was replacing the uh, surfaces in their hospital with copper to prevent the transmission of COVID. Um, we don't make any claims about X39, but we did a study uh, at a hospital in upstate New York and we gave people supplements of copper. We did some other things I can't talk about, uh, but let's just say in the group that got the copper supplement, they didn't get COVID and they didn't develop symptoms. So, you know, this is all to say that uh, I would say copper peptide can do a lot, but I wouldn't depend on it only. I'd wanna have a diet that is healthy, take supplements where necessary, exercise, have a healthy lifestyle, de-stress, drink plenty of water, uh, do all of those things to give your body the, the best chance. And then tools like X39 are, are phenomenal. It takes your health to another level. Wow. Yeah.